my one of my YouTube subscribers or blog followers contacted me some time ago and sent me a photograph of some envelope liners that she'd made using her scan and cut. So I posted them on the community page on my YouTube channel to let you know that it was just another way of being able to make use of your scan and cut machine. And a couple of people commented and said, how would you do that? And I said that it was a fairly easy process and that at some point in the future I'd try and make a video. So today's video I'm going to show you how I created the envelope liners for these three different envelopes. I've done, I've got three different sizes here and I've got a different size again which I'm going to show you in the video. So when you open it up you've got this nice liner. I've done three different styles of envelope. This is just a basic no A6 type envelope, squarish, and then this is another one. And then today I'm going to do this one, which is a smaller version of this. So what you need is obviously an envelope, your scan and cut machine, and then I would suggest a scanning mat for this. But you could use an ordinary cutting mat. It just depends how worn your mat is. It, you may find that the scanner picks up cut marks off your mat and then you're going to have to start deleting little pieces. So I'm using my scanning mat. When I'm using this scan mat, if I'm using anything that's light coloured paper, so white or any light coloured paper, to help the scanner pick up what I want easier. I use a piece of dark card underneath. So your scan mat isn't sticky. If you put the white envelope on the white mat, then obviously the machine's gonna struggle to see it. So this is just a piece of 12 by 12 craft card I've got in mind, but you could use anything so long as it's bigger than the piece of media you're going to scan, if that makes sense. So I'm just going to put this face down and I also find that putting it with the right side up is easier because sometimes the scanner might want to pick up these lines. So I'm just going to place this envelope opened on this scan mat and then I'm going to put it through the scan and cut machine. So I'm loading it in. I'm going to scan and then I'm going to use the scan to cut data. I'm not touching anything else, mine's set on black and white at the moment but it doesn't really matter whether it's colour or black and white. It may help if you're using coloured envelopes or something like that but from the ones I've done I've just done them all on black and white so I'm just going to hit the go button. Now that's just going to take a second or two to recognise. Okay, so I'll try and hold the screen up. I don't know how well you're going to see this, but basically I can see the envelope now. I'm going to choose the top icon, which is just the outline, and it's showing me the outline of the envelope. I'm going to drag in the red handles just to isolate the area a bit more because I'm also going to save this. And every time you save into the machine, you're using the memory of the machine. The machine will hold 60 full scans in total. So if you've only got a tiny item that you're scanning and you just save it as a 12 by 12 image, you're using effectively one of your 60. So by isolating the areas, you're cutting down the amount of memory that you're using. So now I'm going to hit preview and it should show me that outline again and it does and I'm happy with that so I'm going to say save and I'm just going to put it in the machine for now and it will save it into the machine's memory. So it's told me that it's saved it. I'm going to say OK and now I'm going to hit the home button and say it's OK to delete all the patterns. Now I'm going to unload the mat. 
and I'm just going to get my cutting mat and a piece of paper. And this is scrapbook paper. I've had this years. I think it might be do crafts or paper mania, something like that, but I don't really use it. So I just thought it would, you know, be nice to use in the envelope liner project. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to come into pattern. I'm going to come to save data, go to the machine because that's where I've saved the liner. And I'm going to hit the up arrow to take me to the last page. And it's this last project here. So I'm going to save that and say OK. Now, I'll try and bring this a bit nearer. What you have to remember is that this image that has been saved is the outline edge of the envelope. So we want to cut it a bit smaller. Now, most envelopes have a gum section where you wet and seal them. And this section is generally around about a half an inch, I found, on the envelopes that I've been using to, to do these test cuts. So I'm going to come into the editing icon, which is on the top left. I'm going to come into the up and down arrow, which gets me to, into the editing section. The first thing I'm going to do without touching anything else, I'm going to take the height down by half an inch. Now my envelope is 8.65. So if I take a half an inch off that, I need to bring this down to 8.15. So just using the minus uh, um, key on the height, I'm bringing it down to 8.15. So that's taken the height down by half an inch. And then from the ones I've done, I've found that if I now unlock the aspect ratio and on the width using the minus key, take it down six steps. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and say okay and okay. Now, again, you can save it if you want to save it for future use, if you've got a lot of these envelopes. I'm not necessarily going to save it. I'm just going to say OK at the minute. Now, I'm just going to load the mat that's got my paper on it. And I'm just going to drag it just hit the back button and drag it up into this top left hand corner and then I'm going to say OK and cut. So that's finished. I'm going to unload this mat. And there's my liner. Now, let's get the envelope, slide it in. And as you can see, it's in and it fits perfectly. So all you would need to do now is close it and I would give it a burnish. And then that's your envelope with your liner. Now, you can apply a little bit of adhesive on the flap. It doesn't really need sticking in all the way down. Just put a little bit of a I, on mine. I've just put a little bit of adhesive on on the edge of the flap. Close it down, and then when you open it up, you've got your liner. And because you're not sticking the liner into the envelope, when you open it, it will open and just move ever so slightly, just to allow for the fold. So that's how you make envelope liners. So I'll just show you the others again. 
So I've got four different types of envelope, all with pretty liners. So please give the video a thumbs up if you liked it. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you don't already do so. Make sure you've got the bell notification icon switched on. You can also follow me on Instagram and Patreon. And I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.